name is Stephanie, and I am here to show you how to do two Father's Day gifts. But first, I wanted to tell you that I miss seeing your smiling faces and having you check out books. And I know that some of you like to read my library or reading themed shirt. So I wore a different one today. This one is a book hangover. And that's what happens when it's hard for you to re-enter reality after you finish a really amazing book. And I have to tell you that does happen to me sometimes, especially as my family can attest to that. The first uh, one Father's Day gift we're going to do is a Father's Day card um, hooked on Daddy. What you need for this card is a piece of cardstock paper or construction paper, uh, preferably blue, a piece of white paper, could be printer paper or cardstock paper, cupcake liners, a popsicle stick, a, a piece of yarn or twine, Google Eye, and some pom-poms or any other type of things to use as bait and glue for attaching everything. Now, I had to kind of do with what I had around the house, so not everything worked. So first you're gonna take your cardstock paper, fold it in half. You're then gonna take a piece of printer paper and just kind of cut a little wavy line on it because when you glue this on, and I'm just gonna use a quick uh, glue stick, It's going to be your sky. You can um, draw little clouds or something like that if you'd like. You're then going to take a cupcake liner, fold it in half, and you're going to trim about an inch off. And then when you open it up, you're going to glue it onto your blue cardstock. This is going to be the body of your fish. Looking like that. And you can use, use whatever glue you have. Um, I found the glue stick just to not be quite as messy, but I did need liquid glue for one part of it. So you're going to take another cupcake liner and you're going to um, cut a little triangle. You're going to fold it in half and you're going to cut a little triangle off. This is going to be a fin. And you're going to glue it onto your little fish, so it has a little tail fin now. After you attach the cupcake liner to make your little fin, you are going to get a Google Eye, and all that I had at home were very tiny Google Eyes, but you just do the best you can with what you have available. See, I mean, that is a super tiny eye. And then you get to uh, use a black marker I have a Sharpie. It could be any kind of black marker. And looky, he's a happy little fish. After you draw the smile and put the Google Eye on, the next part is to get a pop popsicle stick. Well, I thought I had popsicle sticks. I thought I had craft sticks and I had neither. I did have a chopstick, which I chopped in half and, um, I had some twine, so I at least had that, but for this one, I used thicker twine, and it just was a lot harder to wrap it around, so I did a little digging and found uh, some jute string. Really, just anything that you can use to make a um, fishing line for this. And you could even do a colorful one if you think that um, your daddy would like a colorful one. So you just put a little bit of glue on the popsicle stick, crab stick, whatever you're using for your fishing rod, and then just wrap the string around it, and then put some more glue on the card, kind of starting from the white sky and then going on down, and trying to do this while talking so it's not turning perfect but see that's why I did one like that first so anyway you glue your fishing rod you glue your little string on and then <laughs> my string just came off and then you 
add a little bit of, um, we could use pom-poms. Guess what? I didn't have pom-poms. So I went to my scrapbooking stash and I found um, little bitty uh, kind of fake flowers. You can use sequins, um, anything that you think might attract a fish to your fishing line. And I'm going to try to wrap the fishing line on here again. And then you just kind of make your string end up close to where your uh, little fishing bait is. Now we have some scraps left over of the cupcake liner from when we did our trimming. And what we do with this is just kind of put them down at the bottom of the card, kind of make it look like seaweed. So. No um, special shapes, you just kind of just little trims, but, and you can use different cup, color cupcake liners. I had the one color. And then for the top of the card, you can write something like hooked on daddy, or um, I don't know, maybe um, I caught the best daddy, something fishing themed, and just write it or have someone else write it for you. And then you can also draw a pretty picture for your daddy on the inside or write a nice message. Anything that you think that your daddy would like to have from you for Father's Day. So here are two different cards. <laughs> Again, I think this one ended up a little bit better. I think I needed a little more glue on that one. But you just uh, make something cute. And this is the first Father's Day craft. The second Father's Day craft that we have is a World's Greatest Daddy Trophy. Um, I'm going to give you some helpful hints on this because I made a few mistakes along the way. First, this is actually my handwriting. I do find it kind of difficult to write on um, round objects, so it doesn't look that good. But um, you know what? Daddy's going to like it anyway. So for this craft, you're going to need um, a paper or styrofoam cup. You're going to need um, some construction paper in yellow. You're going to need paint in yellow, glue, and um, a marker. So first off, I'm going to tell you a really helpful hint. I didn't have any cups here, so I went to the store and I didn't think the type of cup matter when I bought it, so I bought the cheap ones. And you see it has a pretty blue design. Well, this is about eight coats of yellow paint and you can still a little bit see the um, blue design on there. So I would do a solid color or white for um, your cup for the trophy. So first you are going to um, just get some paint and here you go. I'm going to show you how this is what the first coat looked like. <laughs> it was not good. So um, yeah. You're going to paint the cup, um, you're going to paint the inside of the cup, and you're going to paint the bottom of the cup. Let it dry. If you need to do multiple coats, just let it dry in between coats. And then um, you are going to take your yellow construction paper and you're going to basically trace around the wide part of the cup to make a stand for your trophy and you are going to cut out little handle shapes. Um, didn't do the best job on this. Um, what, why you're going to want to paint the inside of this yellow is so that when your daddy puts um, anything in it or you know what, you could put stuff in there for your daddy. Think of what your daddy might like. He might like some chocolate. If he golfs, he might want some golf tees. Um, he could use this as a pencil cup or anything that you think your daddy would like. So it, that's why it's better to have the inside painted as well. After the cup is finished drying from however many coats of yellow paint that you need to do, you are going to put some glue. I thought it was easiest to put glue around the bottom of the cup, the edge, and then put the yellow construction paper on. This way you aren't getting glue all over this and then it doesn't line up very well. 
So you're going to do that. And um, the handles I thought were kind of hard to just, I mean, you're just basically sticking paper on. So I ended up using um, glue dots for this part of it. Really, it's whatever you have handy at the house that you can use to um, help these <laughs> stick on. I'm just trying to hold them on to show you as an example. I'm not gluing them on right now, but you just kind of hold it and attach them. And then you just wait for it to dry. Once it is finished drying, then you can write your little message to your dad, or you can have somebody else who has better handwriting than I do write your message to your dad. So these, this is your uh, second Father's Day craft. Uh, we have the information on the website for the uh, craft ideas and also a list of these supplies. But again, both of these should be fairly easy to do with things that you have around your house. And um, even as you saw, if you don't have the exact items you need, you can still, you know, figure it out and use something that might be comparable, such as, um, you know, just, you can even do a different color if you end up not having yellow, you know, a pretty red trophy or something like that. But the thing is, is that your dad is going to love the gift because it came from you. So I hope that you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you again soon.